page 304 of my book, uh, which includes exercise, eating a plant-focused diet, avoiding alcohol, moving. I'll add to that, you know, there are supplements, so, you know, there is Virtual and NMN and berberine metformin, these are no secrets. Make sure your vitamin intake is good, not too much, not too little. I'll, I'll add to that, you know, because I've said that already. Stress is a major killer, right? Cortisol levels, the, the molecule of, uh, of stress is, I think it accelerates aging. And so I've worked very hard on myself to reduce my level of psychological stress. I literally had a, over a hundred million dollar deal fall apart for reasons that were totally beyond my control. And it didn't bother me. I mean, I was annoyed, but if that had happened to me five years ago, I would have been livid. I would have lost sleep. I would have banged my head against a wall. Uh, but I'm rather stoic these days. I don't worry about what I can't control. I try to get a lot of quality sleep. I travel a lot, so I'm not getting enough, but the quality is important. And I try to meditate or at least have quiet time during the day. And I practice gratitude. And Gil, you and I have talked about this. You are both at an age now where we realize that life is short, that the people around us, our family, our friends are, you know, super valuable. You don't want people around you who are toxic. I've ditched a number of friends over the last few years who weren't really friends that were using me and wouldn't have been there if I needed them. And I'm now surrounded by wonderful people who I love and who love me. And it's a totally different existence than pre-COVID, pre-pandemic. That was a world where I was worried about every second. I wasn't being productive enough. You know, Gil, you knew me as a young guy. I was driven. I would speak fast, move fast. I was intense. And now I think I've gained many years of life because I'm calm and I only worry about the, those things that I can control. And the rest, I just do what I can. And I also now I'm, I'm involved in giving back. I'm much better teaching, educating, and that's my legacy as well. And I love doing that. I get a lot of reward from that. So I know that was a long answer, but basically what I'm saying is do personal growth, personal development. Serena, my partner, uh, was my guide in that. We don't all have a Serena, but we there's a lot of books, there's a lot of mentors, there's therapy if you need it. And, uh, you know, I think life is much better if you practice gratitude and realize that every day is a gift.